This retreat, it's for me. I'll be very honest, you know, this retreat is definitely for me. I need this retreat. This retreat is for everyone. Islamic scholars, this retreat is for them. People who are out there doing da'wah, this retreat is for them. People who are just trying to be good parents, this retreat is for them. People who are just trying to be good in their careers, this retreat is for them. This retreat is for all humanity. Because if we don't realize the problems that we have within us, then we're never going to be able to excel as human beings. So the way that Sheikh Mukhtar has set up the program is in a very beautiful way. He makes sure that the times that the Messenger of God had his community in dhikr, we're in dhikr at that time. So before Fajr, we're in dhikr. After Fajr, we're in dhikr. He gives a lesson, and then before uh, Dhuhr and after Asr, we're sitting for hours just in the dhikr of Allah. And it's difficult initially, because I think we like how Ihsan sounds. We like the idea of reciting five chapters of the Qur'an a day. We love the idea of these great scholars of the past who would sit for hours on end sending prayers upon the Prophet We relate their stories all the time. Problem is we don't do it. Here, you want to call it tazkiyah, you want to call it tasawwuf, you want to call it ihsan, you want to call it spirituality. Whatever you call people to in terms of reciting the Qur'an theoretically, making dhikr theoretically, sitting by yourself and pondering over the creation of Allah theoretically happens here practically. Example, yesterday we all walked to the lake and there's like 15 of us in the section I was in and we're just all staring at the lake. We're not talking to each other. We're listening and we're, we're feeling Allah and we're experiencing Allah and then it starts raining like a gift. And you see these tiny little ripples everywhere and we're all just staring in amazement. You know, that's the state that this retreat through the teachings of Sheikh Mukhtar is putting everyone's hearts in. And, you know, I wouldn't trade it for a billion dollars.